It's Ed Rosenthal, the cultivator. You know, uh, the last speaker was talking about medical marijuana, and I hold the medical marijuana card myself. And hundreds of thousands of people in California and thousands of people all over the country in the 13 states where medical marijuana is legal have been helped. In fact, a friend of mine just last week, he, was, he lives down in Los Angeles, and he got into uh, an argument with a PG&E person, with an electric uh, provider's person, and um, with the uh, with the inspector there, and, and the uh, so the, the so this uh, PG&E meter reader called the police, and the police came and said, "We are just we have a citizen's complaint." that you have marijuana in your in your yard. And the uh, my friend said, Well yes I do. And here's my here's my medical card. And the police went out and looked at the pot. They said very nice and they left without the pot. And that's that's what medical can do. But you know that's not enough. You think about it. Is medical enough? What about all the people who don't have medical cards? Should they be arrested for lack of a medical card? Is it right that some people can use marijuana and others can? And what I say is that medical marijuana is great. I have nothing against medical marijuana. As I said, I'm a medical marijuana card holder and I fought very hard for medical marijuana in California and also in Oregon. But we need more. All marijuana must be civilly regulated. It must be legal. It's not good enough just for, just for the ill. Because marijuana is a medicine for everyone. It's a life enhancer. You don't have to be sick to, to get advantages from using marijuana. It makes you into a better person. It makes you into a happier person often a very much more productive person and certainly a better parent. And what we have to do is have a little change of focus because we are making great progress with medical marijuana but it's just not enough. Just not enough. What we need is free legal marijuana for everyone over 18. Who agrees? And our next step is saying to our legislators and starting to put into action, put in initiatives into action to make those changes. In San Francisco, in Oakland, California, Denver, Colorado, and here in Seattle, we have there have been initiatives that have all won that said the people say no more prosecutions for marijuana. And that's what has to happen right here. We have to start enforcing those laws here in Seattle, in San Francisco, in Oakland, all over the country. And uh, that's why I'm asking everybody, everybody who's here, to take the pledge to at least write one letter to their local representative or to visit their local representative and tell them that they want a, that you want a change in the law. Who's willing to do that? Because the people who aren't willing to do it, you look around at the people who aren't willing to do it and there's, they're holding back marijuana from being legal. Because if you're not working for a change in the marijuana laws, you're not going to get the change. It's going to be held back. We need everybody who's here to give that change, to make that change, to see their legislators, to write the letters, to actually campaign, to get other people involved, to protest, and to write new legislation. And we can do it. We've done it before. We're doing it. Join in. Thank you very much. Ed Rosenthal.